Sometimes it's too difficult to describe a seminal legend with words, especially someone as beloved as Michael Ojo. Look tough on this one. Is that way? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, what comes to mind first for you? Is it his size? The fact that he was a force to be reckoned with? Or is it that million dollar smile? for mayor on the campus there, Tallahassee. I guess what? Or his selflessness. Michael Ojo redefined the garden and gold from the moment his number was called. Number 50, Michael! He embraced everyone. That seven foot wingspan made for an immeasurable reach. Those custom 22s made for unforgettable footprints. A size 22 shoe. Too big for anyone to fill. Now we have the trophy. Woo! What is he doing? What? Yo, yo, Why don't you bring Sam up to help you talk to him? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that probably your plate or my mom's plate or something like that. So your plate has to be according to your size. <laughs> so I was leaving my continent. You know, Africa coming over here to America. And I made a promise that, that I'll get my degree. Michael Olegene Ojo. He told me he promised his grandmother he was going to be a good boy. Always happy, always <laughs> kind of joking around. And... Michael is just an infectious personality. The young man of incredible joy. Ojo, do it! Whoa! Take it next time, big fella. Ojo was just so beloved by everyone. We're going to miss him and we love him and uh, you know, we'll never forget his memory. It's been the Michael Ojo Show. His legacy will move on. He demonstrated what the Seminole spirit is all about. Rest easy, big fella. A one of a kind, a Seminole legend. Whether they're throwing down dunks and blocking shots, or simply walking across campus, Boris Bojanovsky and Michael Ojo command their fellow Knoll's attention. Bojanovsky and Ojo stand tall at Florida State, seven feet tall to be exact, and they stand together. The two teammates have a unique relationship. They get along like the best of friends, and they quibble like brothers. And I'm just What's up? That relationship began to take shape when each arrived in Tallahassee to play basketball for FSU. They no sooner arrived on campus when they realized another guy literally measured up to them. When I saw him, I was like, no, really? <laughs> That's the first person I really see that I like to look up to, 7'3", I mean, two inches taller than I am. Well, People seeing us everywhere together, they'd be like, like twin brothers or something, I'm like, yeah. They just like, after our classes, we took, go to tutoring. From there, we go to eat that's, and walk back home. So we always together. There is one thing in particular these guys love to do together when they have some free time. I like to I beat like him in bowling. Beat him in bowling. No, 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 I swear he didn't win. I like to beat him in bowling. No, no, no. Champion <laughs> over here. <laughs> Oh, FVS, right there. Let's go, boy. Hey. I'm watching you, watching the bully alley, watch me. I told you I have a coach now. No, 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 no. Look, I told you. 
Yo, you choked it. <laughs> Yo, that's what we need right there. Clutch, that's what I call it. <laughs> I told you, bro. What you gonna do, bro? Man, don't be scared. I'm, I am scared right now. Oh, man, man. I like broken. That's what I thought. I was scared. That was close. 138 to 130. I won. Me. Who won? Me. Me. Are you sure? Right here. Yes, right, right here. It's, it's right there. Please. Please, can you ask him what was his reaction Who was? towards the last shot? I was a little bit scared, you're right, but nothing changed, though. Who's first? Me, number one, number two. Yeah. Good game. Two days ago, the Seminoles fell to Pitt, and today they knock off BC as Kumaji shoots one off the top of the backboard. Oh, my whole thing is he doing? What? Yo, yo, camera. I don't remember I didn't play in our playbook. That says Chris should be on the three-point line, waiting for the ball. <laughs> so when I saw him, I encouraged, you know, PJ. I was like, PJ, give him the ball. Let him shoot it. Let him shoot it. I was, I was one of the guys, you know, on my bench. I was like, hey, let him shoot. I don't I want Chris to shoot it. Dude. It was just, it was just funny, you know, like everybody on the team told me you got to shoot a three-point in the game, you got to shoot a three-point in the game. And before that, Coach Gay was like, hey, if you get a ball on the three-point line, you shoot it. Like, he made a sign like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready. So when we ran down, PJ was like dribbling and Coach Gay was like, move the ball, move the ball. So I was ready, I'm like, PJ, I'm on the corner. Okay, and PJ threw the ball. And I see the guy coming. I should probably take one dribble, step back, and shoot it. But I was like, okay, let me just shoot it. Cause, but the shot clock was running down. I might, I might never get a three-point shot in the game. So let me just check it off my bucket list. So I threw it up. It was a bad shot, but who cares? And like, we were winning by like 40. And the left hand blocked it. Down the other end, Isaac keeps it alive to man. Ojo, do it. Whoa! <laughs> Hasn't made one, attempted one yet. He thought about it. <laughs> yes. Take it next time, big fella. You deserve it. This is, this is, this is two different situations, you, you know. Really once, man. With, with his shot yesterday, it was about <laughs> 20 seconds left in the game, you know, and we we're up by 30. In my case, it was we we're up by 18, and but still three minutes left in the game. That's a lot of time in basketball. So I want to put us in a situation where we have, you know, that game ended before I do stuff like that. So, are you saying he had more guts than you to, to shoot the three? Um, I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's two different situations, two different scenarios, you know. I have to make sure we, you know, have that game won, you know, already won before I do that. Okay, if you were in the same situation as he was, would you have taken three point shot? No! With 20 seconds to go, would you? With 20 to... seconds to go, and the guy right in front of me, I pump fake him, get three free throws. Guess what? I'm shooting 80%. Oh, okay, okay, good job. <laughs>